Thank you so much to all the Patreon members, specifically the shoutout members and the higher tiers. Guys, this whole live stream will go on Patreon in the best quality possible, video and audio wise. And I will post the separate reactions like I do always as well. Oh, Nawaf, yeah, Nawaf, that was his suggestion or her suggestion, who was it? Yeah. Okay, this is your suggestion. Exactly, exactly. Let's check it out. Here we go. Cool voice. What does it mean, Kairan Elim? Kalaspen tartsten alaman baygesin de shaban dap kalmagan or pangbar. Kolgan deniyelim ki turba kalamaz dragan magan, toz dragan magan menezim mert. Kungle shamar tarhan yisvar. Bolo dalanın bögdeler bile vermeyten özgüler size vermeyten kiyesi var. Uh, Michelin, um, <laughs> I'm gonna pause it for a moment, sorry, and I think I just heard a kabiz right here. Um, yeah, we're doing suggestions, but I gotta, <laughs> I gotta tell you that at the moment, uh, including Tika, her suggestion, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine suggestions <laughs> done <laughs> uh, to go. Still, <laughs> just saying, just saying. Okay, let's let's keep going. I think I just heard the. I turn. I did turn on the subtitles, but they they didn't they didn't appear. I don't know why. Let's keep going. Wolf. We heard the cobies. Where is this filmed? In the mountains of Kazakhstan? Kazakhstan? <laughs> well, thank you, Stine. I have these harmonics too. It's very interesting. Sometimes with Dimash, when he sings very fragile, at the end of the sentences, there's all, there's sometimes almost only air coming out instead of pitch at certain points. And it's very interesting because that's pretty typical for him, I think. Uh, I've not heard anyone else do that, I think. At the end of the sentence that he ends with just uh, uh, just like like breathing out without the pitch anymore. <laughs> You mean know what I mean? Oh. 
шалгарсын пайда Уақыт ем болар бәріне Love the sound effects too. Ooh. Man, I love, like, we see the piano right here. Ah. I would love to be able to have a piano somewhere in the wildlands, in the mountains, uh, or in some kind of awesome landscape to be able to record a music video like that. But that's just so difficult. That's why when I go traveling and I record a song in advance, I always take a guitar with me because I can travel with that. I cannot take my piano with me. That's just not possible for me in my case. Um, but I would love to do that. That is insane. And look at this scenery too. Amazing. Man, okay. Before I go on, I want to see here. Um, Michelin, my request would be Amaranth by Nightwish. Uh, well, I have seen that song and, and heard it multiple times. That's actually the first song from Nightwish that I've ever heard, Amaranth. Uh, I love the music video and the original song. I have seen um, the, the live uh, version on uh, at Vakken 2013 as well. So, that's it. Uh, in many different areas of the country, of Kazakhstan. All right. It's a beautiful scenery. Uh, famous lake there where trees are pest petrified from cold water flooding valley years ago. They filmed this during the worldwide pandemic. Oh, really? He lost his mentor to COVID-19. Is that so? Dimash. That's quite sad. Yes, he is the only singer I've heard utilize this the the breath like that. Yeah, indeed, me too. Lara Fabian does that too. Oh, really? Does she? Lara is Dimash's idol. Makes sense. I mean, yeah, kinda. Uh, Fal Deers visited this lake while in Almat Almaty. Okay, that's interesting. It's sad though about his mentor. Let's keep going. Oh, it's not Dimash on the piano. I mean, I know he can play it. Water with this piano. Jesus. It sounds sad. The 
this instrument just gets me every time the Kobe's. Um it sounds like a sad song. Um is it be I don't know why that is actually because oh my holy land the title suggests something more hopeful I would think but it sounds more sad and I think there might be some kind of meaning behind it too with the kobe's what if you have never heard the kobe's it's a very interesting instrument um but it sounds always like there's a very slight how would you call it the difference between different octaves is very small like suddenly it can sometimes you almost hear two different octaves like two notes an octave for a, a part i don't know if you know what i mean uh, but in the kobe's you sometimes have that it goes over into like almost a, har a, har a harmonic, like you have on guitar, with harmonics. You have this a lot on the Kobis as well. You have this melody, and suddenly it goes up a ha an octave while, he while he's just playing the same string at the same point. Like a harmonic, yeah. Yeah, they play in a minor key, that's why it's... Um, why it sounds so sad. Let me just return a bit so that you can hear that from the Kobe's. Listen to the shift in um, in octaves there. I've heard uh, about... Um, I've heard that... Um, that Diana Ankudinova is able to do that. Oh, he does a tribute to his teacher in Karajim AI from 2020. Okay, didn't know about that. Listen. It's almost two octaves that they do. Ooh, burning the keys. Blood. Oh my god. The beautiful landscape. I got goosebumps. Oh man. Now it's pretty clear that this is real fire and that the fire that is around the Maj is fake, of course. Uh, I mean, fake that it's an effect. Uh, but here it's pretty clear that it's real fire. If it is not, that is a very good effect. But it. It seems like real fire here. Uh, also, the thunder, I think that's an effect. Uh, like the Love the belt here. I had goosebumps all over. Oh, that, that is supposed to be the teacher that dies. Okay, now I get why it is such a, a, a sad uh, feeling when you hear the song. 
So this is some kind of tribute to then too. Dimash is on fire. It was a shock to me when I saw it for the first time. Uh, it is kind of. I mean, you can you kind of know that it's uh, that it's uh, set up that it's a f um, an effect on it on him. Uh, but we've never seen that in a in a clip of him. That's true. I mean, I haven't. Cool, man. You feel that, even though I didn't really know what it was about, except for I saw the lyrics, but I didn't know it was actually about that teacher. Well, no, that's a different song with the teacher. I mean, I don't know. I've <laughs> but it's the same teacher. But the what happened? The teacher died at the end of the video, right? Here? Actually, it is not about his teacher, but about his country. I get it. We see all these landscapes, but I don't know why is it a sad vibe then? And why does the piano player at the end die or kind of when he falls into the water? What happened then about the world? Because that was not really clear to me. I got the feeling from the song. But I didn't really get the whole story there. So feel free to let to let me know. Uh, that said, uh, thank you so much for your suggestion. Uh, where are you? Uh, Nawaf? Thank you so much for the suggestion. That was a kind of uh, about the struggles of his country. Okay, that makes it. I mean, I, I don't know much about Kazakh history, but he prays for the world, and it's is the teacher dying. Okay. <laughs> 